I'd say um, uh, the very important fact uh, re <laughs> regarding relations between Korea and Poland is that, in fact, we do have our representation here. Because, of course, um, previously, um, uh, Poland has not been represented basically in the region. Uh, we need to remember that uh, our consulate here is in fact open uh, to any Iraqi citizen because right now uh, we do not have um, any other office that would uh, provide the consular services to Iraqi citizens elsewhere in, 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 in the territory of Iraq. But in fact, mm, the fact that we are located here in Erbil uh, is quite important and um, Kurdish people also have their representation in Poland. Mr. Ziad Raouf has been there uh, for quite a while. He's been doing a good job and um, he's also trying to maintain the relations on a good level. And we hope that we can help uh, in any way we can. Basically, as Mr. Ziad Raouf also mentioned, it is quite important uh, that Poland can, um, of course, extend a kind of um, assistance and help in terms of education, in, in terms of, let's say, kind of uh, knowledge sharing because uh, because of our experience because of what happened uh, throughout the past decades and uh, let's say even centuries because if we're speaking about uh, the partition then it started over 200 years ago so basically what happened over the past decades and past centuries is a kind of an experience and uh, this is something that we need to share with other people and um, we need to share this kind of uh, let's say knowledge that we have based upon this experience uh, what to do or what not to do to keep your country and to make your country prosper and make your country you know develop in the right way Poland is is involved uh, in also the humanitarian and developmental help and um, perhaps not this year but in the recent years we've actually been doing some initiatives that are strictly you know related to the help of to the people living in KRG, but also to the IDPs and, uh, um, and also um, um, refugees from Syria and other countries that are also here, because KRG is in a way suffering because of that. There, is, there, are two, there, are, there are quite many people who have actually found themselves here because of the recent developments here in the region. And Poland is trying to help. And in fact, if you're asking me about the last developments, I perhaps should not go that far. But I can tell you that in December, the upcoming December, our minister is coming here again to, let's say, mm, summarize some programs that have been ongoing to kind of, um, um, you know, seal some of the health programs that we've been uh, doing and perhaps talk about new ones. And our minister is, in fact, the person who is probably, let's say, the best person to do that because um, um, she's actually, you know, um, commissioned with this kind of work and uh, I hope that she will be able to meet um, appropriate people here in Kurdistan just to uh, pass the help to the people who most need it. We are expecting uh, the visit of um, Mrs. Beata Kempa, who is minister who is actually responsible for our relations with uh, different countries in terms of humanitarian and developmental help. Yes, in a sense. So um, um, we're expecting the visit uh, beginning of December and hopefully uh, that can bring, let's say, new programs or some new initiatives, uh, how we can help. And of course, uh, there is also a lot of cooperation in terms of, um, in terms of um, as Mr. Ziad Rauf said, educational, um, um, let's say, um, programs. Poland is a country that is open um, to, let's say, take in uh, as many students as possible, of course not more than that, but as many as possible. And we believe that education is the key factor in, in the development of any country, as was in our case. I mean, we, we've, we had to, let's say, come to the point where we, where we are just by trying to educate our society, educate our people. Stability. I mean, stability um, and uh, also a kind of uh, good consensus between the parties that are uh, playing the, uh, the, the important roles here in the region. So hopefully the new government and the new parliament here, they can find uh, a consensus and they can find uh, like the good balance that will allow you also to do the reforms. It is exactly, again, what I said about Poland in the 18th century. Uh, the key players then in the 18th century, they did not find the consensus, they didn't want to push any reference. 
and Poland wasn't ready for what actually came to, to us in the 18th century, so the partition and stuff. We were not ready militarily, we were not ready uh, economically to withstand this kind of, um, this kind of threat. Uh, and the thing is that if the country is well developed and if the country is uh, in a sense uh, well maintained internally, then it can withstand quite a lot of threats and then it can, let's say, further develop and provide for their people. So basically, I think balance and consensus, understanding between the parties. Um, and uh, perhaps also this, this one thing that we could call, let's say, um, the, common, the common, let's say, goal. Yeah, so that everyone is actually thinking about pretty much the same, not just thinking about what his party or uh, her party could do, but what is good for the country uh, in general.